No way. Oh my gosh. That is a giant. Are you serious? Puppy. Yes. He's Don't lose him. Oh my gosh, he's fighting Keep him up. so hard. He's fighting. Keep him up. He's huge. Please. He's huge. Please. He's huge. Please. He's huge. Redemption. He's huge. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, Jay, grab that fish. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Colin and Jay, and today we have brought you along with us on a little scouting mission. We're out here in the back of this little ditch area and uh, we're hoping that we can find some fish. We've had a ton of rain the last couple of days, which has led to some flooding. And this little spot, sometimes when you get some flooding, flooded water, some flooded conditions, the fish will move back up in here. So we're just gonna turn the corner right here, see if there's any fish, see if we can catch some. Hopefully it looks good. It's really muddy, it's really high. So fingers crossed we can get some crappie. What do you think, Jay? We'll see. We'll see, <laughs> let's see what happens. This is a scouting mission, but if you're excited for today's video, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and uh, let's get in the water and see if we can catch something. To get out here, we've got our waders, and we're waiting out here to where we can cast because this is all flooded woods. Jay's got some hip boots. Should work. Kind of cold. It is kind of cold, isn't it? Whew. Now we have caught some fish here before, that's why we're out here. We're not just like coming out here on a whim. So we're hopeful that with our past experience fishing here, that maybe there's some fishing here today. We tried this a couple months ago and didn't really catch anything. So let's see what's happening out here today. So here's what we're gonna be throwing today. We're throwing little chartreuse crappie tubes underneath a little bobber, fishing about a foot and a half to two feet deep. Like I said, there's a little ditch that runs right through the middle of this. And then on both sides of this ditch, it's just a bunch of grass, a bunch of lily pads, just a bunch of scummy stuff. Um, when the water's a little bit lower, it's a bunch of grass and you can't really fish it. But with the water being up and some of the vegetation being died back um, during the winter, you can fish it a little bit better. So let's see what's happening. There's a little bit of water coming in right there. So we're starting down here on this end because the fish should be attracted to that moving water. So let's see what happens. Mate, oh, I got a bite already. Are you serious? I think I just had a bite. Not seeing any fish activity on the surface, but it is pretty chilly. The water temp's probably mid 40s, could be low 40s. And the air temp is about the same. It's very chilly. The sun's out though, which is nice, but the wind's blowing, which kind of ruins it all. I could have swore I had a bite just then on my first cast. Put it back over there. It might be a little too shallow, honestly. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a giant. Oh my gosh. That's a giant freaking crap. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get your freaking crap out of my way. Oh my gosh. Get out of my way. I just caught a slab. Let me lift it. Let me lift it. Yeah. Yeah. Big in. Here, hold your fish. That's what I'm talking about. That's a slab and a half right there. Heck yeah. And this flooded nasty muddy water out here Woo. there's some big crappie hanging out in here jay yeah that's a black spot on him. yeah he's a black spot this is a black crappie and dang it's a good one he <gasps> choked it yeah. all right that is my first crappie of the day this is a pretty exciting because we didn't know if there was going to be any crappie out here so this is a pretty good sign yeah very promising <laughs> we didn't bring a string or anything so we're gonna let this fish go we might come back here later with the stringer and keep some but this one's going back in the water for another day Good job, It's cold. It is cold. It is really freaking chilly out here. Get out of my way. And I said, I gotta get my crap out your way. And you said, get your crap out of my way. <laughs> fish. That's a yellow bass. My first fish of the day is a scraggly little yellow bass. Not the target species, but I'll take anything. Oh, Jay got smoked. It's a really cold day. Had a lot of rain. This is flooded. It's muddy. It's murky. And I'm just surprised that we're getting bit. This is awesome. I'm getting ate up by yellow bass. Gotcha. That's a good one. That's a good fish. I don't know. Might be a crappie. I think it's yellow bass. It's a big old yellow bass. God dang. Look at that sucker. Choked it. There's my biggest yellow bass so far of the day. Super solid fish. You bet my jig, buddy. This might be a yellow bass. Yellow bass. Oh, 
All we're doing now is catching yellow bass. Which is fine, I guess. <laughs> I'd rather catch crappie, but they fight really good, so it's still fun. Oh, gosh. These fish are just digging. Oh, my gosh. Wait, hang on. Oh, my God, that's crappie. Oh! That was a huge crappie. Really I thought it was a yellow bass. Oh my god, that fish was digging. Oh man. Now I'm sad. They all crappie. Woo! There we go. Finally got me a nice crappie. It's been a minute. We've been catching little yellow bass here and there. Jay caught that nice crappie right off the bat. And uh, this is my first one of the day, and this one would definitely keep if we had something to keep them with. Honestly, we weren't expecting to catch much. We were just coming here and scouting around a little bit. But that is, I guess, our second crappie of the day. About an 11 inch fish. Beautiful fish. Let's get him back and see if there's any more down there. Yellow bass, get up over the grass. <laughs> Another pretty nice yellow bass. Not a monster. Pretty good. I'll take it. Better than not catching anything, for sure. Gone. That's a big crappie. Big crappie. Big crappie, baby. Get out of the grass. Get out of the grass. Get out of the grass. Come here, baby. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Look at that. See, a whole lot different than yellow bass. Yellow bass has got quite a bit of color. The crappie have like zero color. That's a good one. Choked it. I'm telling you, I, my hand, my hand is cold. So I've been putting my hand in my pocket and let my bait just kind of sit there and they just freaking just take it down like so fast. Almost just like the yellow bass do. Sick. Awesome. Okay, big guy. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Is that a crappie? Oh, no, 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 no. No. Get out of there. I'm trying to be bossy, but get out of there. Oh. It was just a yellow bass. I didn't know. I thought it could have been a crappie. Sorry for being so demanding and rude. <laughs> Ooh, hang on now. This might be a crappie. This might be a crappie. I think it's a crappie. Oh my gosh. I cannot lose this fish. Oh my gosh, it's a nice one. Holy moly. I got it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. That's a slab. Woo. That is so exciting. That is a slab. Look at that. That is so awesome. I've been catching yellow bass after yellow bass after yellow bass. And it's so nice when you finally land a nice crappie. Oh. Makes me feel a little bit better after losing that last one, but that last one looked really, really big, but this is a really nice crappie. Okay, see you later, fish. Woo! Oh, that's a big crappie. Big crappie. Come here. Yes, they are far and few in between, but they are all good ones. Dadgummit, that's a nice fish. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. look at that sucker. Another nice, easy 10 inch, probably 11 inch fish. I mean, definitely keep her thick, healthy, just awesome fish. Sick. You have to catch like 20 yellow bass to catch one crappie, but hey, it's fast action. It's a lot of action. It's a lot of fun. Okay, we'll see you, buddy.
And I've got a little baby yellow bass. I gotta hurry, I gotta catch 20 yellow bass to catch one crappie. The faster I catch my 20 yellow bass, the faster I can catch a crappie. That one Jay's got over there is meaty. There we go. There we go. That's a slab. I'm calling it. That's a slab. That's a slab. It's a slab. Yeah, baby. Get up in here. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! That's a slab. He's a little bit smaller than the last one, but look! Look at that black spot on him. We've been out here for almost an hour, and ever since we've been out here, um, I realized that I had a leak in my boots. So, I've been just like, standing in this water, and it's really cold. But, Cole says we can leave, but then we start catching crappie, and I don't really want to, so... I don't know what to do. My foot wants to leave, but my heart doesn't. All right, thanks fish. That was awesome. Woo! I see them under there. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. I think this is a crappie. Woo! Holy cow! <laughs> Holy cow! Holy, whoa. Oh gosh. <laughs> Dang. That was so awesome. Dang, Slab Queen. I know. This is so awesome. Have they all been this big, the ones you've been catching? Yeah. This big or bigger. And bigger? This isn't my biggest one. That's about the biggest of the ones I caught over there. I mean, I thought it was a pretty good one. That's a nice fish. Was he in the grass? Yeah, he was actually really close. Really? Right here, yeah. Oh my gosh. I think I'm I, having so much How many have you caught? Like five? Six? I don't know. You don't know? Then we've caught like almost <laughs> 10 of these suckers. You've caught more than I have. These um, um, yellow bass are making me lose my count. Yeah. I'm catching so many yellow bass. Yeah, I told the camera earlier, I said we we're catching like 20 yellow bass per one crappie. And you have, the faster you can catch 20 yellow bass, the faster you can catch another crappie. <laughs> Beautiful Ooh. black crappie. He's got more color to him. Whew. You that cold? foot is so cold. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, sorry I provided you some sucky uh, hip boots. <sighs> My it's bad. It's like full of water and I'm about to turn into an opera singer. I'm like, oh, it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to send this fish back? Yeah. Okay. Adios. He's angry. Well, what do you want to do? I mean, since this was like kind of our little scouting trip and your boots are cold, do you want to like head off and go home and maybe come back here tomorrow and do it for real or, or what? I said do it for real. I mean, like, bring a stringer and keep some. Um, um, well, I don't know. My foot says, Jessica, get out of here. But my heart says, I don't know. You gotta stay. So. I think you should always follow your heart. Make a few more casts? Make a few more casts. Okay, well, let's make a few more casts. I'm gonna fish over by you for a second. Oh, I bet you wanna come fish by me. No way. Oh my gosh. That is a giant. Are you serious? Crappie. Yes. He's Don't lose him. Oh my gosh, he's fighting so hard. He's fighting. Keep him up. He's huge. Please. He's huge. Please. He's huge. Please. He's huge. Redemption. He's huge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, Jay, grab that fish. You grab him. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yes. Look at that! In the face! What? Take your fish. It's huge! Redemption! And that is why you follow your heart and you suck it up and you keep fishing. That's what I'm yes. talking about. Your leg has got to be numb by now. I know, I can't feel it anymore. And that is the biggest of the day. That fish is like a 13 or 14 inch fish. Pound and a half size fish. Wow, what a monster. Oh my gosh! I was not expecting that. I just saw your rod. I heard you heard you set the hook, and I, your rod was bowed over. Your GoPro had just my, died. My GoPro had just died. We were just about to leave. Oh wow! That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful fish.
Those are definitely fish right there underneath me. Right there, I need to put them right now, though. Oh, he was looking at it. Got him. We are hooked up with a nice one. I don't know if this is a crappie or what. Oh, it's a big crappie. Big crappie. Big crappie. Big crappie. Big crappie. Just gonna boat flip him. Oh, it's a shot. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Whoa, that was first drop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How about that for a first drop on a brush pile, guys? That is a slab. He smoked this little baby shad. Golly, there was a couple of them down there fighting for it. I was like, I don't know if those are fish or not. I think they are. And boom, that guy came out of the brush pile and just hammered it. I mean, that is a slabby slab. Yes, it is. Yeah, how thick that thing is. And there was more down there with this one. So I'm going to put this guy in the live one. We're going to drop back down on there so we can get a couple more out of that brush pile before they disperse. So sick. What a way to start. <laughs> nice one. Really nice. Oh, it's a giant. That's a giant fish. That's a big one, JJ. That feels so heavy. If that's a crappie, it's a really big one. Oh. It's a oh yeah, it's a nice big crappie. Oh. He's like the last one. He's like the last one. I'm just gonna oh, I'm gonna lift that one. I'm here. Ah! Got him. <laughs> <laughs> oh frick, I need a net in this thing for these crappie. Look at that wow. one, Jay. That's a couple of drops later. Awesome. That's another big one. Second big slab crappie of the day. Okay, I'm gonna put this one in the live with his buddy and we're gonna get back down in there. I think there's a few more in that brush pile. <laughs> Got him. Got him. My reel's messed up. Reel's messed up. It's big big reels messed up big crappie reels messed up reels messed up he's gonna boat flip him Woo! yeah yeah Woo! look at that there's our third nice slab crappie of the afternoon they all three look about like twins or i guess triplets at this point it's a third big one I actually dropped a minnow down on that one i had one swipe at my jig and uh, decided to drop a minnow down there and see if I can get him to bite, and he smoked it. That is so awesome. Third, really nice crappie. Whew. These are gonna be some good eating. Let's throw this guy in the live one and get back down there. Got him. Oh, God. Stay on there. Stay on there. Feels like another good fish. Feels like another good fish. Oh, yeah, another nice keeper crappie. Yes. Whew. There we go. There's our fourth keeper out here today. This is actually our smallest one though, and he is still a really, really quality sized fish. Man, what a beautiful black crappie. These are some of the most good looking fish that I've caught in a while. Like every thin margin is complete. They got beautiful black spots. They're coming out of this deep, clear water. Just a really, really nice fish. That's number four. There we go. Another fish. Doesn't feel super big. Oh, it's a good one still. Look at that. He didn't fight at all. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. Fifth crappie on the board. These are all such nice fish. It's unreal how nice these fish are out here today. Just beautiful, beautiful crappie. I'm putting them down here on the measuring board so you can see how long they are. They're like 12 inches almost. Our first ones are bigger than that. See, he's almost 12, and this is one of our smaller ones. I think our two bigger ones are like 13 and a half or so. Beautiful black crappie. Number five. That's another good one. I think it's another nice crappie. It is another slab in the boat the minnows are wrecking shop we were doing pretty good with the jigs at first we caught our first two but everything else since then has been on the minnow just fat healthy crappie they can't resist it 
that little minnow swimming down there is just like i said simply irresistible beautiful slab that's our sixth one chunky and there's more down there gotcha gotcha nice fish nice fish another nice slab get up here loving the quality out here today it's just every fish looks the exact same with the exception of the first two we caught were a little bit bigger but this is another like 11 and three quarter inch sized fish pushing 12 just thick healthy beautiful minnow munching black crappie got to love that guys another one another one oh it's a yellow bass dang that's not what we're after it's probably what's stealing some of my minnows down there honestly he's a pretty good sized one though but just not exactly what we were after out here today i'm gonna let him keep that minnow as a little token of my appreciation for him biting but not at all what i'm after Don't know what that is. Feels pretty decent though. It's a little crappie, but I think it's another keeper. A little bit smaller. We've lost our good average 12 inch size fish, but I think it's another keeper. We'll put him on the deck and see how big he is. I think he's probably close to 10, if not 10. Oh yeah, that is an easy 10 inch crappie. Another beauty. Catch some nice ones out here. That's a good one. That's a good one. Come here. Yes. Whew. They're not biting at every drop and it's taken a few uh, attempts and a few drops down to get them to bite. But it um, seems like every five or six minutes I'm able to get one of these fish to commit. There's a bunch of shad down there and they're just hanging out underneath them. And then all of a sudden they just come up and they just crunch that minnow. You know, that's a better size one. It's one of the bigger ones or it's like the size of the first couple ones we got. Definitely over 12 inches, just a beautiful, chunky, healthy black crappie who is going to go in our live well. There we go, rod just loaded up. They just loaded up. I didn't even feel the bite, just got heavy. Oh, that's another big one. Another big one, get up here. Oh, another chunky, big old black crappie. Are you kidding? Man, the quality out here is unreal. That's another just beautiful 12 inch fish. Got the sun going down, reflecting off his sides. Just a beautiful sight to see. We've got some nice fish in this live well. He'll make a great addition. We got maybe, oh gosh, oh gosh. He said, I don't want to go in there. <laughs> we got maybe 10 in there now. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one, JJ. Oh, big one. Big one. Flip him. Flip him. Nice flip him. One. Yes. <laughs> Finally, Jay got one. Whoa. Yes. Oh, wow. Ooh. Look at that. That is that's a, a dandy. That's a really <laughs> nice one, JJ. I'm glad you finally decided to join the party yeah. up here. Finally. <laughs> oh, what my a, goodness. What a beautiful slab. Woo! That's like, that's I mean, dang near the biggest of the day. I know, it could be. This is what you do when your slab queen gets up here on the front, she comes up here and just smokes a big one. <laughs> that is awesome. What so a beautiful cool. fish. So beautiful. Look at that little black on him. I know. I caught one like that too. I'm not even gonna lie. Huh. That's crazy. It's not a full on, full, full on black nose. It's just a little black spot on the back. Nice uh -huh. fish, JJ. Didn't get skunked. <laughs> here. Put Jay's big slab in here with the buddies. You think I got any more minnows? Those are all crops. I think we drifted off all of it. Oh, it's right there. Well, that's different. Oh, you got one? Oh, I guess I have one. Oh, gosh. Oh. I thought we were off the spot, but I guess we were I on it. <laughs> that's awesome. I thought we were off the spot. <laughs> still got the minnow. <laughs> yeah, that's another keeper. He's a little bit smaller than your last one. It's cold out here. Yeah, it's really cold. It's really cold. <laughs> Your hands numb? Yeah. Dang. Ah, there you go. 
Let's see him. Second fish, another nice keeper, which pretty much all the fish we've caught today have been keepers, but they have really enjoyed eating the minnows more than the jigs. We've got a nice juicy brush pod in here, and it seems like there's more fish in there than there was when we first started, which is kind of crazy. Well, look at this. I don't even have to rebait. Just got to cast back out there and catch another one. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> as long as that minnow isn't like completely dead. <laughs> no nice one. <laughs> there lift it up a little bit okay right there got him Hi. got him got big that one. big in. oh yeah this one feels good big old slab <laughs> still have my minnow still got your minnow <laughs> <laughs> that's a, always a good feeling i thought he was gonna be bigger than that he's still a good I one know. he felt he felt pretty big your but. rod your rod was definitely bouncing he bit it good that's for sure Another black crappie, yep. Another black crappie, another nice keeper. I don't think we caught any white crappie out here today. No. I'll just I'm just like your little service man. Yeah. I'll take, take this my guy. Fish. <laughs> got you out here in this freezing cold weather. But you didn't bring another jacket. I don't I know, know what your deal is. You came out here it unprepared. It was warm today. <laughs> it was warm, but when we got out here it got so windy. And it kind of locked Jay up for a minute. Got him? Got him. Got him. Got him. How big is he? Oh, it's another nice one. He, I that, still mm, got the minnow. <laughs> you still got that dang minnow. That is crazy. Oh, no. Wait, I just, wait, no, it's there. It's, it's there. there. <laughs> nice one. How many fish can I catch on this one minnow? I don't know. That minnow is definitely dead. <laughs> I know, but I was just, oh, I lost it. Rip. <laughs> I was jigging it. Let's see if this guy oh. measures. It's going to be close. You measure him on this thing. I think he's actually not going to be a keeper. This might be our first small guy. Yeah, he's only nine inches. Oh. Only a nine incher, so we'll send him back. They gotta be ten inches in this lake. Let's get you. Let's get you a live minnow, Jay. That's a big crappie, I think. You think you lost your minnow? Oh. Oh no! It's in a fish's mouth. Oh gosh. <laughs> How's it feel? Feels bigger. Really? Woo! Oh, it's a slab. Flip him. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jay! <laughs> oh, it's yeah. choked. Oh my gosh, that's oh, a big one. Check it out. <laughs> nice. He freaking choked it. Yeah, I know that minnow is way down there. What a slab. <laughs> what a slab. Too bad we're about to be out of minnows. Oh. So look at this, guys. So this is what we're looking at. We got this hard brush pile. And we had these little blobs. And I couldn't tell if those are crappie or not, really, because sometimes I see the blobs and they look like that and they're usually yellow bass. But I think most of those are crappie because <gasps> Jay keeps dropping down right in the middle of them and smacking them. That's awesome. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> That'll warm you up, right? Yeah. You might rehook your minnow, maybe. Is he okay? I think he's okay. All right. We'll put this guy in the live well. We got about 15 minutes of daylight. Got to make these last few moments count. See if Jay can get another one. I'm having Should fun. Re -hook it? Yeah. I mean, I think he's dead, but you can you can jiggle it too, make him look like he's alive. Yeah. Got him! Got him! Is he big? Oh Come on, don't lose him. On, we need this one. Last one of the day. Come on, be a big one. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a, oh, it don't matter. Flip him in here. It don't matter how you catch him. That's a big one. <laughs> he swiped at it. Oh, man. Oh, he might have like sucked it in and blew it out and then you smashed him. Whoa, that's a stud. That's a really big one. Oh, my, oh, my gosh. Goodness. That is so cool. <laughs> Last light. The sun has just set behind the trees. <laughs> Man, you stuck that one good. <laughs> Whoa, that's, that's amazing. Oh, look, he's got the black on him too. What is up with that? Is that normal? I, I don't know. know. I don't know if it's normal. Like we've seen, we've caught some black nose crappie and some magnolia crappie, but that's just like black specked crappie. Oh, the black crappie got the black lab. speck. Yeah. And uh, my toes are cold. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. My toes are because they got wet. I've been jumping mineral water on them. And they got wet. <laughs> I'm cold. Yeah, you're. Yeah, you look kind of miserable, except for that you got a big old crappie in your hand. Woohoo! <laughs> Man. Oh, that's fun. Bleeding. Yeah, he got. Yeah, you stuck him pretty hard, JJ. You got him good. Sorry. That's a good one. That's a good one to end on. Woo! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. There he is! Woo! Oh, nice! Oh, oh gosh! Yeah, we had one minnow left, so we were like, yeah, we should probably use it and try to catch one more fish. I'm not even sure if we got the beginning of that on the camera. Oh. <laughs> they bit so fast. Oh, yeah, he did bite really fast. We had one minnow left, but you still had the minnow on your hook. I know, so I guess we could catch another one. We could. I mean, they're biting every drop. Why wouldn't Might you? Might as well. Might as well. Is that a 10-incher? I don't know. Oh, 
Oh yeah. 10 inches, but we've got some nice ones and I'm just gonna throw them back. Okay. I'm just gonna throw them back. All right guys, well we had quite the time out here on the lake this afternoon. It was quite cold, but we managed to catch some really, really nice slab crappie, which is honestly kind of unexpected. We don't normally do that great out here in this spot, but luckily um, we just happened to find the right brush pile and some fish that we're willing to eat. But anyways, we're going to get back to the boat ramp, load this boat back up, get back to the house, warm up and we are going to clean this fish at some point so we'll see you guys when we get there okay guys so it is nighttime out here currently but we are ready to cook some fish up for dinner we've got a bowl full of those fresh crappie fillets we got out on the lake today looking super pearly and ready to be fried up we got the deep fryer down here to my left um, getting heated up but tonight we are going to be doing something special we're going to be beer battering those fish that we got today. It has been heavily requested recently, so that's what we're going to do. So what I have here is a little concoction of some beer battered um, fish mix, and then I have some water. I don't actually have beer. So here we're getting this all thoroughly mixed. The last time we had beer battered fish, I think that I um, didn't have it evenly mixed up enough because it was pretty thick on the filet. It was still really tasty, but I think it was a little bit too thick. Okay, so it's looking like our oil is hot. Let's grab a couple of filets out of this bowl. Let's dunk them in the wet batter. The hardest part about this is not getting it all over your fingers and getting it all sticky. You just wanna get it all evenly coated, just like that. Oh, that's hot. Oh wow, that's really hot. That's gonna sizzle. Okay, I'm leave the tips over. That looks good. Let's go ahead and drop it in there. Yeah. You wanna start frying instantly. That's when you know that your oil is hot enough. Let's get a couple of these fillets. We'll probably do like three or four to start off with. We don't wanna overfill the basket right off. Okay, I've got to say it's turning out really well tonight with the exception of one filet, which I definitely destroyed the evidence. I'll let you guys went and see how messy that one turned out. But let me show this camera I'll show you guys what we're working with down here on the tray. Got some really, really nice looking beer battered filets. I have two more here cooking in the um, deep fryer. The one that got messed up actually got stuck to the basket, so that's why it got all tore up. But y'all guys will never see that one because I definitely ate it and it definitely tasted good. But um, yeah, so that's the report on that, those will be done in about 30 seconds or so. We'll have ourselves a good mess of crappie right there. Just got those final two fillets out of the deep fryer. And like I just said, I think they turned out really, really well. Look at that. Golden crispy, just the way you like it. Airy, fluffy, just what you want from beer battered fish fillets. It's crazy that I haven't beer battered crappie fillets in this long, especially after sampling that piece a moment ago. It is so good. But what I'll do real quick for y'all is do the official taste test right here. There's a piece of that crappie, look at that, steaming. It's hot, flaky, airy, crunchy, and it's going down. Mm. That was magnificent, folks, and we have a bunch of leftover fillets in that bowl that we'll probably be cooking up over the next few days. Maybe we'll do some more beer battery, maybe we'll make some fish tacos out of it. And that is why we like to catch and keep as many fish as we can when we go out on these fishing trips, just so that we'll have plenty of fresh fillets to eat over the week. We eat so much fish, if y'all haven't figured that out already. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna take this back inside to where Jay and baby C are at. Uh, Cypress is getting a bath right now and Jay's occupied with him. So I don't want this to get cold because it is quite chilly, but thank you all so much for hanging out with us out there on the lake today. It was a blast finding these fish and then catching them, you know, with the minnows, with the jigs. And uh, we're looking forward to maybe going back out there to that spot again soon to see if we can catch some more because I feel like we just barely scratched the surface at that area. What's up guys? So I'm out here fishing and I have stumbled upon a really intense crappie bite. So I'm propped up against this wall. There's some deep water here next to me and uh, I just decided to toss a couple of little jigs out here and I've been getting bit almost every single cast. I've got a chartreuse little tube up here. I've got a little monkey milk two inch grub there. I'm using the seven foot six inch medium um, ACC crappie sticks. Got 10 pound braid to an eight pound monofilament leader and um, if everything goes according to plan I should catch one here on this cast. So the reason why I think all these fish are stacked up here is because it's very sunny out and it's warm and this is casting like a shade line and they're just like right oh that was a big one. Oh my god they're up against this wall getting in the shade i'm also seeing a bunch of shad flickering around dang that was a really good bite guys oh man okay let's see if we can get one right here there he is it's every cast guys this is insane good ones too good ones good ones get up here 
<laughs> yeah, flip them in the boat. Really solid 11 inch white crappie on the grub. I have like 10 or so already on my stringer. I'm gonna add him on there. We're just gonna keep casting, see how many we can get. This is so crazy. I am jacked. Okay, we got that one on there. I might have more than 10. I'll show you guys the stringer here in a minute, but let's focus on catching some of these fish while they're fired up. Because they could stop biting or I could catch them all. I don't know how many, I don't know how many are under there. But the water goes pretty far up underneath this wall. And we got this good shape line. It's every cast. That's a smaller one. In the boat. Ooh. He's borderline, but he's gonna be a little too small. He's probably like a eight and a half inch, nine inch crappie. He's smoked it though. Look there, probably about a nine incher. I think the size of the medic here is 10 inches. I'm just gonna keep 10 inches just to be safe. But another nice little black crappie, they're mixed. Get your white crappie and black crappie under here. So all I'm doing is I'm letting my bait sink all the way down to the bottom. And then I'm just very slowly reeling it right back to me. And it's every cast, as you can see, off the bottom. That's another keeper, another keeper. Get up here. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes, every freaking cast, guys, it's insane. I have not been on crappie like this in quite some time, and I am loving it. Look at that, nice black crappie, 11-inch fish. Woo. Gotta love that. I really wish I had a bucket so I could just throw them in the bucket, but let me show you guys a stringer, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> look at all these crappie I've already caught so far. The limit's 30, so there's a good chance that we could get a whole limit of crappie on this stringer before the day is over. I'm also surprised I haven't caught two yet. It's gonna happen, I think. There's so many down there, I think. <laughs> unreal. It's unreal, unreal. Another nice one. He's gonna be borderline. Let's put him on the crappie checker. Let's see how big he is. I think he's, he's probably gonna touch right at 10. Not let him go, though. Little crappie checker. That is a 10 and a half incher. 10 and a half incher, guys. This is like my favorite size crappie to eat. 10 and a half to 12 inches, or 10 to 12 inches, my favorite size crappie to eat. This is just so crazy. And I really love how it's just like right here in front of me. It's just, you know, pitching out 15 feet from the bank, or from my boat. And I'm really just letting the bait just kind of just pendulum back to me. It's not really getting all the way to the bottom sometimes. Just barely creeping it, just twitching it. And it just loads up. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> I love swinging in the kayak like that. <laughs> and they are just gobbling it. Look at that. It's choked. It's gone. Down his face. It's gotten to the point now, guys, where I would be surprised if I made a cast and I didn't get a bite. I would start to get nervous. Here we go. Big and big and big and big and big. big. Get up here. <laughs> Man, they're getting, they're getting to where they're biting it right next to the boat now. And I think they're just kind of just swimming in circles right underneath this little floating thing. Or it's not really a floating thing, it's just a concrete slab structure where the water's able to go up underneath it. Another solid black crappie. He bit the chartreuse jig. I love having a chartreuse and a pearl. I learned just to kind of give them two different looks. They can decide which color they want. That's fantastic. Just another nice slab crappie. I'm using relatively light jig heads here. I'm using a 16th ounce on top and have a 30 second down there on the bottom. Um, I like the jigs to be light. I can reel the bait real slow. You know, this is a small area, so I'm trying to keep my bait in the strike zone as long as possible. And it's just a little bit more natural. If you have a heavy jig head, you have to reel it faster, and um, you don't get to soak your bait in that strike zone as long as you would if I had a lighter jig head. Um, I can also probably go down to like 230 seconds, um, but the wind's kind of blowing and I kind of lose control of that. So 16th and 30 second is obviously working. <laughs> Oh, 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 big one. Is that a crappie? Slab. Freaking slab. Get up here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I got lucky that time. Most of the time when you drop your crappie in the kayak, they fall off out the side. But that is another nice one. Another nice white crappie. I think we've got evenly mixed fish. I think half the fish on there are white and half the fish on there are black. That is awesome. Look at that. Woo. There we go. There's one. There's one. Come here. 
Oh yeah, another keeper. <laughs> the bite, I feel like it's starting to die on me. I think that um, there's still some fish there, but I think they might be getting used to my jigs or maybe they're kind of swirled up a little bit further back where they're not on the edge looking out to eat something. But either way, we're gonna keep casting at them and uh, we're gonna see if we can keep catching them. I might change up my plastics, my colors, my little combination of baits here, here in a second. He choked it though. Love that, love that slab white crappie. All right, so I'm gonna try this little bonehead minnow plastic suspended underneath a bobber. I still got my double jig rig handy, but we're just gonna see if we can suspend this guy right next to this edge and if we can get some fish to come out. Just to kind of let me know if there's even any more fish there left. That looks good, looks tantalizing enough to me. I'd eat it. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> First cast bobber up to the bobber. I knew it would work. We went about 10 minutes or so without getting a bite on the double jig rig. And all it took was a little bit of enticing, a little bait change. That little bonehead minnow was deadly. You've seen us catch a lot of fish with this thing in the last few months. And that's a good one. That's one of the bigger ones we've caught today. Just in the same spot where I'm getting bit, just letting it sit there, just letting it just suspend and letting them have an opportunity to come out and eat it. That's awesome. All right, so the wind's really jacking with my boat position. So I'm having to <laughs> reach over and grab a hole of the wall and keep adjusting my kayak. So it's kind of nice that I'm able to, you know, pause my presentation and just let my bait just sit there and suspend. Just trying to work it real slow. Just main, mainly just letting it sit there, let it rock around in the wind and the waves. Just let that bait jiggle. That bait looks really good. It sits horizontal in the water column. Looks just like a little minnow. Just wanting to get eaten by a big old crappie. I, I told y'all, right there's the spot. I don't know what it is about that spot. That's a big one too. Big ones are loving this bait. Oh, that's a slap. What the heck? Whew. Oh, look how big that one is. What a chunk. I told y'all, right there. Just let it sit right there. There must be a pile on or something there, or a stick. But that is a thick one. Look at that. A little bonehead minnow in the face. Got him. Got him. Okay, let's see if we can go three for three on these bad boys. There he is. Another one. Another good one. Oh, well, he might be a little short. We'll see. He's kind of a smaller guy. Oh, another keeper. Ten and a half. Big and big and big old big old slab. Big old slab. Come here. Come to daddy. <laughs> yes. This is definitely a little bit slower paced with uh, bobber and bonehead minnow little combination, but still getting the job done and still doing them dirty. That's another nice one. I gotta count these fish on the stringer. I mean, I've got, I'm getting close to 30. Okay, we're back on the double jig rig program. Let's see if we gave them enough time <laughs> to get fired about this tactic again. There we go. That feels like a good one. Oh, it is a good one. It's a good one up here. Oh, yes. Yes, we're back on the double jig rig program. But what I did is I put a chartreuse, I got him good, a chartreuse little bonehead minnow on there. That's a stud, what a slab, right there. Right under the boat, basically. <laughs> that is so cool. Whew, I love swapping it up on him. I've just about pulled every crappie off of this structure. There could be some pushed way up underneath there, but I'm not able to really reach those guys. I tried skipping my jig up under there, but there's just not enough clearance between the water and the bottom of this structure um, to get it up under there. But nonetheless, we wore the slabs out today. Started off catching them with the double jig rig, then we swapped to a bobber, then back to the double jig rig, and uh, we just caught them until they wouldn't bite anymore. But uh, I've got a stringer loaded up with crappie. I think I counted 25 on there. It might be 24, somewhere in the 24, 25 range but they are just looking good. Let me pull a string up so you guys what I'm talking about. This thing looks crazy. Ready? Oh, gotta get prepared for this. Brace myself, here we go. Woo, look at all of those slabs. Woo, and all of these fish are anywhere between 10 and a half. And I think my biggest one was 13 inches. I got all black crappie, white crappie. And I even got this guy here. A little black striped, black nose crappie. Really cool fish. Yeah, oh, I gotta put these down, they're so heavy. Oh, 
and it was just so much fun catching these guys. I hated that they quit biting, but I'm not gonna complain. I think I've probably caught 35 or 40 all together, um, but the majority of the fish I caught were keepers, which was awesome. A lot of times when I go fishing and get on a school of fish, I'm usually, you know, weeding through 10 or 15, you know, non-keepers to get a keeper. So definitely impressed with the quality of fish today. And uh, since there's not anywhere else that I'm really wanting to try and I feel like I've done enough damage for the day, I think I'm just gonna load these guys up and get out of here. So hope you guys enjoyed watching that little smash fest, but the video is not done because we are gonna take these guys home. We're gonna clean them. And of course, the best part about a day of crappie fishing is eating them at the end of the day. So we'll catch you guys back at the house. There she is, there is a fresh fish taco. Y'all just saw us whip up. We've got our crappie fillets, we've got avocado, we've got tomato, cilantro, and we got some green sauce. Just a mm. simple, quick and dirty recipe for a delicious, quick bite to eat for lunch. Let's give it a little taste test, see how it is. Hopefully I'll probably make a mess. Here we go. Mm. Delicious? Mm-hmm. Very delicious. I'm glad that the taco didn't like just disintegrate right here all over the floor. <laughs> we came in here, it's better lighting in here and I was really worried about it. I have no plate underneath me, I'm going rogue. Here, give it, give it a little taste. Mm. What you think about it? Delicious? So good. Mm. If you're not eating fish tacos in 2021, I definitely recommend you add it to your <laughs> cooking arsenal. It's just a great way just to get away from frying all your fish or grilling all your fish or baking it. Just so you can have different types of fish dishes throughout the week if you get a big mess of fish. Like I did today, it was yeah. crazy. Caught a bunch of crappie by that wall. It was completely unexpected. <laughs> um, I fished all around that area for like two hours before I got on that spot and didn't catch anything. So to say I was pleasantly surprised would be an understatement whenever I started catching those fish. And they were all good ones. And uh, hopefully we can catch some more as spring starts to show itself here in central Arkansas. We just made it over here to the fishing spot. Let me show you guys what we're gonna be using to catch these slab crappie today. First off, I've got a tackle box here full of jig heads, bobbers, plastics. We'll be going through a bunch of different plastics today until we figure out which one the fish like. And then if that doesn't work, or also just to supplement to the jigs, we're gonna be using some fresh live Woo! minnows. Look at how, look at all that blue water. Yeah. Those guys look super lively. Those guys are gonna get bit. That was the winning ticket in the last time we were here, so definitely had to bring some minnows out here this time too. So we're gonna be swapping between the two, see which one works best, and see which one catches the bigger fish. Let's get after it. Fish on, fish on, I think it's a good one. Is that a, is that a, is that a crappie? If it's a crappie, it's huge. If it's a crappie, it's a big one. It might be a catfish. Oh, that's a, is that a crappie? Please be a crappie. Please be a crappie. Please be a crappie. Oh, it's a big crappie. It's a big crappie. Oh my gosh, get out of the current. Don't come off. Don't come off. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Yeah. 
Look at the size of that slab wow. white crappie. Got those dark spawning colors on him. What a beautiful fish. Smoked the minnow first cast. Man, that is way bigger than any crappie we caught out here the other day by like three times. That is a stud. Yeah. That's how we get the birthday party mission started. What a beautiful fish. For real. Woo. Smoked that minnow. Are you going to put a minnow on? Yeah, I'm definitely switching to minnows now. <laughs> I know we just started, but dang. Dang. What a fish. All right, let's get him unhooked. Let's get him on the stringer. Or actually, we'll probably just throw him in the bucket, throw him in the bucket, and uh, we'll get back after so we catch some more. Woohoo! The biggins are biting today, it looks like. Let's go. I got one! I got one! one. It's a really good one! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You got him, Jay. Oh, baby. You got him, Jay. He's biggin'. You got him, Jay. He's, He's huge. Biggin'. He's huge. He's a monster. He's huge. He's a slab. Sling him up here on the bank. Oh, oh my gosh, Jay. <laughs> Holy cow. The monsters are biting today. The slab queen is back in action. Wow. Wow, Jay. That is such a beautiful fish. <laughs> That, that is was awesome. so exciting! I cannot believe the size we're catching already out I here. Know. We always catch like really little ones out here, but not today. Yeah, we have to wait through about 10 or 15 little ones to get one that big. And we're already two for two on big ones. Fantastic. You know what to do with them, Jay. We gotta put him in the bucket. Woo! Oh, don't jump out of the bucket. Only 25 more to go. My baby mama on fire. Let's go. Uh, 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 uh. I had so much slack in my line. I <laughs> got him. <laughs> I looked away and I was like, holy crap, my bobber's gone. Come here, big guy. Woohoo! Hey, not as big as the first two, but that is another keeper. We are three for three on keepers, guys. Three for three on good ones. Smashing these minnows. I was thinking about going to the jigs because I wanted to be a little bit faster, but that was pretty fast action, not gonna lie. We'll stick with it. Gotcha. Feels like a decent one. Oh yeah, not bad at all. Come here, big guy. Come here, big guy. Let's go. There we go. We made a move over here to the other side of the dam and uh, to kind of get out the wind. The wind was blowing in our face too much. So we're over here now and got our first one over here in this spot. That is number four, I think, in the bucket. Let's get him in there. There we go. There we go, there's a good one. There's a good one, come here, guy. On the jigs, that's a really nice one. Come here, big guy, come here, big guy, come here, big guy, woohoo. Oh gosh, double biggins. Oh my gosh, we got doubles. Woohoo, yeah. Woohoo, we just swapped over to jigs. Jay's got a good one, let's see what she's got. And we came over here because the wind was a little bit better. We had a better fishing angle and we got double biggins. Got mine on a black and chartreuse grub and she got hers on a, what color is that, monkey milk? Monkey milk. Got that monkey milk grub. Nice. Where's the bucket? That's over here. I'll take them for you. Okay, thanks. In the bucket. I think we got six in there now. Doing good. There's a good one. Good one on the minnow. Swap back to the minnow. Nice crappie. Come here, big guy. Come here, big guy. Come here. Up in the bank. Woo. Nice. There is another crappie for the bucket. I swapped back to a minnow. I lost my bottom jig. So I was like, I'll grab the minnow and give it a shot for a little bit longer. And that was first cast with it. And we got another keeper. I think that this is what was this? What was the number of our last one, Jay? Six. There is our seventh keeper then. Get back out there. Oh, there we go. Woohoo! Nice one. So we're not using minnows anymore. We're using the double jig rig. Ow. And this way we feel the thump. And that's what it's all about except it would be better if this fish was bigger not bucket worthy oh gosh there we 
we go. Man, that was a big old pump. Woohoo! Another keeper for the bucket. That's what I'm out talking about. There we go. Number eight. Things are starting to pick up again. Oops. Got another one. Got another one. I think it's oh, it's another keeper, I think. He's another keeper. Another keeper, another keeper. Come here. Come here. On the boat. Woo! We got doubles again. Jay's is a dink though. We're doubling up like crazy now. She has caught number eight. So this is number nine. As far as keepers go, we probably have caught, I don't know, a dozen or 15 or so of these fish. This one here is lucky number nine in the bucket. There he is, biggin', 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 biggin'. Come here, <laughs> come here. Number 10, woo. There's number 10, guys. We are making some money moves all of a sudden. The fish are biting like crazy. Number 10, 17 more. We can do it. We can get to 27, I can feel it. Got him, got him. I've got so much slack in my line. Every time I set the hook, the current and the wind are just pulling my line away. I think it's helping me out because I'm not setting the hook too hard, not setting it too fast, letting the fish eat it. This is another good one. Another good one. Get up here. Slaying them. The minnows are slaying them again. I think they would eat jigs too, but it's just like the conditions just won't allow me to throw a jig and present it properly from where I'm standing at. Number 11. Another one. It's every cast now, guys. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Come here. Come to daddy. That's a good one. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. I'm gonna flip you up here. I'm gonna flip you up here, big guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's go. This is so awesome. It's like, I got, I'm just a, a constant machine. I'm throwing them in the bucket like that. I think that was 12. I think it was 12. Walk him back over here. Grab me a minnow. Bait the minnow up, hook him in the back. And fire him back out there. Let's get another one. Got the spot dialed in now. Oh, I almost doubled again. Flip him. That's another monster. I didn't get this fish catch on film though. Oh. My GoPro died. Oh dang. I, I don't have any more batteries either. Oh shoot. But this is 13. <laughs> yep, 13. How about that? 13 for the slab queen. Let's go. Hey, that, that's a good one. 13 for the slab queen. <laughs> Big in. It's slab. Oh my god. Is it a crappie? Yes. No, it's not. You oh, snagged something. Oh, it is a crappie. I snagged a crappie. It's a bad day to be a snagged crappie. Oh my god. It's a bad day to be a snagged crappie. Oh. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, is that 15? I think it's 15. 15's another slab. Or is that 16? 15? Uh oh. Oh no. 15, I think. We'll call it 15. Might be 16, though. Yeah. Nice. I think it's 15. Way to go, slab queen. Fish on, fish on. We got doubles again. Hold on a second. Oh, mine's not a keeper though. Dang it. Jay's got one over there. It's looks like a keeper. Yep, she's got keeper number 17, 16, and I don't have a keeper, so we're throwing him back. We are 11 fish away from getting our 27 keeper size fish goal.
So let's take a look at the fish. Look at these guys. We got a whole bowl full. We caught some slabs yesterday. Woo. Those guys, beautiful, fresh. I don't think we're gonna be able to eat all these. We'll have, to, we'll have to store some of these up or give them to Granny or give them to somebody. Somebody will enjoy the rest of those. We've got our season mix in here. This is some Louisiana. This is the yellow bag. I don't I think it's just like original blend with lemon <laughs> fish fry. Let's just get the fillets out of the bowl. They're kind of wet. I drained the water, but they're kind of wet so the flour or the, the fish fry should stick to the fillet very well. And that should do for the first batch. I'm just shake them up, give them a good tumbling around inside of the bag. It's always fun, always fun coating your fish. But what the most fun is, is dunking them in the hot grease. And I know that stuff is hot, it's been warming up for a long time. It should be very hot. The most fun is eating them. I guess the most, the most fun is catching them. Okay, yeah, that's true. The most fun is catching them. Like, I don't, I love eating fish, but if I had to pick between one of the other fights, it was either to eat fish for the rest of my life or catch fish for the rest of my life, I would just catch them. Definitely. Just catch them. Catch all of them. Okay, here we go. Let's see how hot this really is. Oh, we sizzling. Man, Yay. that looks good. That clean grease. Let's go. These bad boys look good. Let's bust them out of here. Give them a little fork test real quick. Oh, yeah. I like to poke them with the fork make sure they're crunchy. Ooh. On to the paper towel we go. Those look delicious. Yep. Now we are going to add some of these bad boys to the mix and I guarantee you I'm going to be sneaking some of those <laughs> crappie to get tasteless. I am so hungry. My stomach is growling so much, but what we got here? Zesty straight or Ida's. I don't know if I've had these. Have we had these before? Uh, I don't know. I don't <laughs> either. They look good. They look dang good, actually. And there you have it, the birthday dinner is complete. We've got some Slap Your Mama to shake on the fish, got some ketchup for the fries, and I think we're just gonna eat right off of this platter right here. It's gonna be so good. I'm ready to taste those fish. They look super clean, super tasty, super delicious. They do. So Jay's let me try it out first since it's my birthday. It's only fair, right? <laughs> shake a little bit of this on there, a little bit of that magic seasoning. If you don't know what this is, you gotta try it. If you love spicy, that's not like, Gonna burn your tongue off spicy. It just has great like Cajun spicy flavor. Mm. Gotta get you some Slappy Mama. Got a little bit on my fish. Going in. Here we go. Fried crappie will never, ever get old. It is so good. It is really, really dang good. I love springtime. I love catching crappie in the spring. And it's just so much fun to like just Catch them one day, eat them the same day or eat them the next day because they're just so fresh and they're so good. I mean, that is perfect. Like, forget buying fish at the store, go out on the lake, catch you some fresh crappie and uh, have just a great time eating them. <laughs> All right, it's baby mama's turn. Here we go. It looks, looks like she grabbed a good one. No sloppy mama for me this time. Okay. Mmm. Heck yeah. Is that the one you caught? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, get it, get it, get it. Boom, 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 boom. He's going for the weight. He's going for the top one. Don't go for the weight. Go for the bait. Oh yeah, pull that up and throw it. I was thinking you had the. No, I, I had. Yeah, he's going. For, he's going for the weight. Oh, he come, 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 come. Oh, got him! That was sick. <laughs> Woo! That was crazy. I'm not sure if y'all can see the screen right there or not, but dude came after. So the fish came up after the weight. So here's the weight. It looks pretty attractive, but came back up there and got this. I honestly didn't really feel the bite. just got a little bit mushy and I just went for it. Nice black crappie. We're gonna throw him in a live well. Let's go. They all decided to not bite. This one bit. Oh boy! In the boat! Hey! There's the second fish of the day. We were casting at a brush pile. Damn, my lens is all wet. I'm gonna clean y'all off. Y'all are a little a little crusty here. All right, there is the second fish of the day. I got this little brush pile right there. Had some fish hanging out on it. And uh, it's a nice one, bigger than the last one. Nice white crappie. Choked it, got him on a black, blue, and chartreuse scrub on a nappy looking jig head. I think it's nasty looking. Nice. Whoa. 
Hit the flat. Hit the flat. Get him. Get him. Woo! Check out this slab. That's a big in. Yeah, that was awesome. I'm still trying to get used to jigging him up low like this. Never done this before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, vertical jig on live scope. Did you see him eat or did you just feel him? I, I did see him. You saw him come yeah. up and smash it? Yeah. Hey. That was crazy. Yeah, we watched him. <laughs> that right there is slab queen sized. Big old Woo. big in. I think it's the biggest one I've seen caught today. Well, you know. You smoke it? Of course she's gonna. Look at that. Smoke that little jig. Good job, Jay. Thanks. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he came right in the boat. <laughs> Dude came flying Another in the boat. Damn. We finally found a nice brush pile here. Heck yeah. Heck that yeah. That's like my next cast after the last one. Yeah, Ooh. another nice one. Not as big as the first one no. in this spot, but that is a good one. Thank you. So beautiful. Back. Getting after him. These fish are fired up in this bush. We fit like probably 10 bushes and not, not, none of them has right. been as good as this one. This is a male? Yeah. yeah. Nice. He's still got a little bit of the dark on him. He does. Nice post spawn crappie. Give me some. Take a look at this pile right here we're fishing. You can see uh, the brush and then you can see the little fish like right here, right there. Whew. It's getting nasty. Weather's nasty, the bite's getting nasty. Bust another one real quick. Oh, smoked it. Oh my gosh. Wait. Wait. Wait, no, have I, you... wait I have what? one. You got one? <laughs> What's happening? I have one. Okay, you got, who has the fish? The thing has both hooks in his <laughs> mouth. What in the world? Look at this. Look at this. This fish has both hooks in his mouth. <laughs> that fish has both hooks in his mouth. That is the craziest thing. And one of us is hung up. Here, bring oh, him in no. his car. Let's get our, let's get our baits. Bring him in the boat. Are you insane? <laughs> this fish has got both oh. of our jigs in his mouth. We still took the exact same time. Look at that. <laughs> Hold on. You can't make this up, guys. You cannot make this up. What? Both jigs. I think they're both in his mouth. I don't even know. They both look like they're both outside of his mouth. I know. We literally set the hook at the exact same time. That was crazy. But I'm gonna I cut was like, the... You were like, I got a fish. I was like, no, I got a fish. <laughs> I'm gonna cut my jig off so I don't get stuck in that bush so I can keep my jig. It's crazy. You can't make that up. Oh, biggin. 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 Yes. Get in the boat. <laughs> Woo. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That's Slab King sized. <laughs> <laughs> Gobble that little jig right there. Mm, that's so cool. Like, I mean, we've just kind of just jiggling around. You can see the fish swimming down there. And uh, all of a sudden, I, I honestly didn't feel the bite. I saw the big flash and I felt slack in my line. So I was like, I better bust him in the head. Nice. Nice. Double digit bass in Oklahoma. Yeah. Got him. Got him. Another decent one. Mm. Nice. Boom! Smoking their butts now. Hey, we got Andy out here. He's out here stuffing his face with Snickers or granola bars or whatever right here, catching his fish. But he put them in the for us. Moral support. <laughs> He's just being a good captain and putting us on the fish. We're just dropping the jigs down, not doing anything. That's a big one. Oh! 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 oh. Get in the okay, Slanging them. Slanging them. Slanging them. Jay's hung up. I was trying to help her out, but the fish is still biting. Yeah. Let me show you guys how we're doing this. So this is the 12 foot crappie stick. Just letting out about 12 foot of line, 15 foot of line. Just pitching it out here in front of the boat. Okay, so we got a bush somewhere around in there. And uh, just letting it free fall and swing back to the boat. We're watching it here on the sonar. You can see it swinging back. And the last fish I actually didn't see. I was just watching my line come back to me. I know this stuff's out there. I know there's fish there, so I'm just kind of just letting it do its thing. There's a fish behind it. Looking at it. Look at that's a big one. Oh my gosh. Eat it. Eat it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Yeah. I'm above it. Oh crap. Wow, it's a big mark on that thing. Well, here's a good look at that brush pile right now. You can get a really good look at it. That's awesome. That's all fish. Interactive. Yeah. Catch one. Oh, he did! <laughs> nice, dude. Let me see that. Turn him around, let me see him. The man, the myth, the legend, got him a big one. I told him, snatch him one real quick. for <laughs> dinner. That was quick. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, oh I hit myself in the knee. Broke my knee. <laughs> There we go, new spot. Pulled up, got ourselves a couple of fish already. That's another nice one. Look at how he ate that thing. Oh, that yeah. jig is gone. Choked. That's how you want to see him eat it. 
looks like there's a bunch of active fish on this pile, so we're gonna get back in there real quick. So we get a couple more, but first, let's get him unhooked and get him thrown in a live well. We're getting a nice little batch of crappie all of a sudden. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. The last spot was really good, and this spot looks like it's gonna be a good one too. Fish. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's just all about big boss. That is fun. That's a lot of fun. We've been missing out all our life. <laughs> I know. <laughs> been missing out all our life. Okay, here's Cole's fish. Here's my fish. Holy smokes. My fish could eat your fish. <laughs> easily, easily. Man, what a slab. They don't Woo! call you slab queen for nothing, man. You're just doing your typical slab queen things up here on the front deck. Pretty much catching nothing but slabs. Today. I know, I've caught more, I caught way more fish than you today. You know, can't lie about that, but you are definitely getting that quality. <laughs> Look at the size of that one. Yeah, that's a really, really nice one. Fatty. Woo! I think it's the biggest one I've seen. I said that last time you caught a big one, that's definitely the biggest one. Check Fatty. That. Huge slab. Awesome. He's going in the locker. All right, so we just made a boat change. We are in the boat. With Kyle, Captain Kyle, we're gonna go around and try to find uh, some more brush piles, find some more crappie. Andy's running back to the ramp to pick up another guy, Craig. They're gonna do some fishing around the lake, try to find some more stuff. We're just gonna divide and conquer, and we're gonna wear them out. I got a good feeling about it. It's been a little bit slow, a little bit okay, just hit or miss trying to find the right piles, but it's gonna happen. We're gonna find some good ones today, right? Let's do it. Let's hey, do it. Let's go get the big ones. <laughs> oh, guys, we got a big one. We got a big one. Get in the boat! Yeah! Woo! That's what it's all about right there. Biggin, look at that. Choked. Choked in his face, in his grill. That's what it's about right there. Probably just fresh off the bank. Hit this first brush pile. Mm, I'm not even gonna get that hook out. He's hooked so good. Dang, dude. Let's go. Look at that beast, guys. There's my biggest catch for the day. Still got those dark spawning colors on it. Look at that choked, that little Dynamax. Thing is gone. I'm not even sure maybe we get that bait out of there. He's hooked so good. Beautiful fish, thumped it really hard. We have this nice little brush pile here sitting in about six feet of water, and it looks like it's loaded. Let's go, that's awesome. Oh, big one, big one. Is he big? Oh, busted, is that a bass or a crappie? That's a crappie. A big old crappie. Big old crappie. Oh yeah, flip him in here. Woo! Dang! <laughs> Jalen swapped it up on him, throwing a little small Woo! finesse swim bait. Dang, that's a nice one. That is a nice one. It's like on a three inch, that's like on a three inch swim bait. You know that bite was good. I love a good swim bait bite. <laughs> that's awesome. That's a big one. That's a big one. Whoa! Is he big? Oh I yes. So. Oh yes. Oh! Baby. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. They're crunching that swim bait now. Woo! Get in the boat. Just barely got him over the gunnel. <laughs> lost him. Check that out. That's another big Dang. one. Smoking, I'm gonna have to swap over, I think, to a little yeah. something like that while this we're is, casting. This is way too much fun. Money. <laughs> oh, smokes. Me and bad, he's another keeper though. Another keeper. Hey. Smoking my cheese now on that thing. I can't even get a bite. All he wants is that swim bait. Heck yeah. Gosh. Hey. Perfect hook set. That's another big one. That's another big one. Boat flip oh. that sucker. Woo! Yes. <laughs> Dang, you are steady on them big ones. Woo! They are munching that swim bait. That thing is choked. Let's see his mouth. Look at that. That swim bait is gone. Down the hatch. Another beautiful white crappie. 
Yeah, that was a big bite. <laughs> At any Dude, moment, you missed the hook set. I know, I missed the hook set, but at any moment, one of these fish could be a two, two and a half pounder. I yeah. just got a good feeling about this spot. I'm waiting for it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I'm still rocking this big old jig rod. Should have opted back to a casting rod, but I'm just having too much fun with this big rod. Couldn't quite tell if he bit it or not, but he did. Swapped over to a three inch monkey milk grub and on an ACC. I think it's probably an eighth ounce head. Dude smoked and moved up here to another little brush pile. Mm. It's on fire. It's on fire. All right, guys, we wore them out on this spot. Check out the fish. Woo! Plucked most of these off this one little brush pile. I mean, I think we probably have 20 or 30 maybe in the live wells all together now by the end of the day. We've done really well. We mm -hmm. kind of started off kind of slow. It was kind of crappy weather. The wind was blowing. Um, but eventually found some piles with some fish that are ready to fire up. We got some really nice fish. Heck yeah. Especially those ones that ate the swim bait. Yeah. Shoot, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. All right, we're gonna get these guys back in the live well and uh, we're gonna figure out what happens next. I don't know what's happening next, but. <laughs> It's gonna be a good time. <laughs> All right, well, we decided to call it a day. We didn't realize what time it was, but it was actually like seven o'clock. It's literally looked the exact same outside since nine o'clock this morning. <laughs> so we lost track of time. Fishing brush piles and staring at your scope all day can, uh, can get away from you and you can lose track of time very easily. But we had a great day. Mm -hmm. um, had moments where we struggled, had moments where we really lit them up. But I think overall, I think we probably, I don't know, we kept a couple of limits at least. Got about 40 fish in the boat probably. Oh, yeah. Caught some really good ones, like pound and a half size fish. And I couldn't be more thankful to these guys over here. Andy for getting us in the boat. Captain Kyle for getting us in the boat. Catching us some, I mean, let's catch some really good fish. But we're really excited because the adventure is not over. Alright guys, good morning. It is day number two of this crappie fishing excursion. Unfortunately, Jay is having to stay at home. He had a long night with Baby C, so he's having to stay there and take care of him this morning. But that's alright, we're going to catch some fishing spirit of her today. Hopefully it's like some big old slabs in the boat. Starting off in the boat this morning with Kyle again. We're going to hit a couple of brush piles and then maybe we'll jump in the boat with Craig and do some single pole um, chasing down some big slabs out in open water. We'll see how the day goes. Uh, it's a beautiful day, completely different than yesterday. Yesterday it was cold, it was rainy. The fish were biting though, so that was good. But we have, as you can see, quite sunny skies, a light breeze, and it's just really, really nice out here. So I'm looking forward to slinging some jigs around and like I said, hopefully putting some big ones in the boat. So I hope y'all are excited to tune in to day two of this crop fishing adventure. If you are, do me a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of these future wild and crazy fishing adventures. That being said, let's do some work. Let's go. Good one. Big one. Big one. Come here. There we go. There's the first big slab of the day for me. Swap back to that little jig I was throwing uh, yesterday and uh, got a good one. That is the meat that we are hunting today. Really, really solid fish. Saw him come right off the bottom and crush it. Let's get him in the box. There we go. Okay. I'm on it. There's already one looking at it. Come on, big guy. Big, big, good. Woo! That'll keep. Nice one. Heck yeah. Just coming off the bottoms, busting it. It's brush piles loaded. 
There's a bunch of fish in this pile, guys. It's crazy. Get him in the locker and get back out there. Woo! Boom, baby. Boom. Clockwork now, guys. Freaking clockwork. It's nuts. Dude, get in there. There we go. Third one off this pile. I mean, it's every drop. When you put it right there in the right spot, they're just on it. Beautiful white crappie. Gonna be tasting good. A tasty guy. Sinking down there too. Got him. Got him. Got him. I swapped it to my little casting rig. I got a got a little underspin here with a little grub. And uh, just picked up another one. They were kind of getting finicky on that jig, it felt like. They weren't eating it. Just try to give them something different. But another nice one, they're all about the same size, about that right at about that 10, 10 and a half inch size, the last few. Oh, uh oh, doubles up. Large mouth. Lost the large mouth. That's all right. There's so another nice crappie. Doing all right. Show and resist that. I told you they don't resist that one. That's when they don't resist. Mm, let's go. Keep swapping around, different jigs. I, I just put a jig on, I was like, they won't resist that, but then they did. But I was like, they don't ever resist this one. You get this kind of, this colored water, bright chartreuse blue flake. Don't know what it is, but catch them all across the state on that one color and it never fails. Nice, nice, nice fish. A little bit bulkier too. I mean, they were swarming it. I mean, they came, there was like five or six fish with like pepper in it. I mean, they were, they were about that one that time. Swinging him up, he's a fighter. He's a fighter. Yeah. Yeah. Let me show you guys this brush power we're looking at. Down here. So you can see it. You can see those spots at the top of it. Those are the fish. We've been fishing it for about five minutes and finally got one to bite it. Don't know what I did to get him to bite. He bit it and ran straight at the boat. It was pretty crazy. I thought I had a bass again. But then nice I slab, a little jig on top of the mouth. And a nice white crappie. I don't even know if we caught a black crappie yet today. I need to look in the log, we'll see. Really, really solid fish. I mean, that is the best eaten size fish right there. Perfect keeper. Oh, he came. oh it's a stud. Stud. That's a stud. Double. Doubles. This is a huge fish. Oh, baby. Two monsters. Two monsters. Two monsters. It's mayhem. I can't believe this one flipped in like that. <laughs> yeah, is that a bass or a crappie? Oh, dude. oh yeah. And the question is who's bigger? Uh, who's is bigger? Yeah. Who's is bigger? Who's is bigger? Oh, yours uh, is bigger. Heck yeah. I'll take it though. Hold on a second. Dang good crappie. Dang good ones. Whew. I mean, barely hooked right there in the corner of the mouth or top of the mouth. Look at this beautiful double on some big slab white crappie. 
made a good move back here to the back of this kind of, it's kind of like a spawning creek back there. And they kind of moved out here on this point and uh, on this brush pile. And they're good ones. There's one I caught. Got that little jig again, just barely dangling in the mouth. There's one Kyle caught. Slabs. These are like two of the biggest ones we caught all day. This is crazy. Just pull back here. We've already caught like four fish and there's still more to be caught. Let's get these guys in the box and let's catch some more. Oh, they're smoking. He came from, I mean, I saw that the fish come running. I didn't know if he was coming to get your stuff or, or what. A good one. Another good one. Nice. Nice. Mmm, stud. Get up here. They all feel about the same. I mean, when you first yeah. hit them, they all feel the same, and they come up and you're like, oh, not as big. Yeah. But still a good one, though. Yeah. Still a good one. That yeah, sun's out now. 30 feet over yonder ways. There's about 30 feet. Kind of hit the thing, though. How much you get? I also got hung up in this thing a bunch here. Yeah. Oh my God. That's crazy. <laughs> I was like, I can't find my jig. <laughs> Flip the bail over. That's nuts. That's nuts. I think that's the first black crappie of the day. <laughs> that's nuts, guys. Literally just pulled back up here to this brush pile we started at this morning. I think Kyle caught one off it. I kept getting hung up in it and messing it up. But uh, yeah, I threw it in there. I couldn't find my jig. I was trying to figure it, find it on the on the graph, and I couldn't find it because this fish had it guzzled down his throat. How about it? First black crappie of the day. And if that is how those fish are acting right there, it's about to get nasty. <laughs> Nice. Good one. Nice. Nice, Kyle. Nice big in. That's an oh no. No. You hate to see that. I saw Dang, that's a big in. That's a big in. That's a big in. That's a big one. Oh, and he stuck the landing with that one. How about it? Second fish off this pile is a nice one. Studly, one. nice one. We eat little, little kind of blue and chartreuse little hair jig. Solid fish, Kyle. That's a big one. Solid. Did you get him? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty. <laughs> I was just letting it dangle. A little, I was just letting it dangle <laughs> down there, and I was like, "There's a fish under there. I better drop it down on him." Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> there was two of them. They thought yeah. they were dueling for it. Perfect. Heck, freaking yeah. That's awesome. Smoked. Don't know how big. Oh, it's a decent one. Yeah. Decent one. Come to daddy. Whew. There's so many little brush piles just in this little zone. We're just going from one to another. There's, I mean, there's probably 10 here, and each one's got a couple of fish on it. And none of them have been really stacked. This one looks like it has a few on it, but it's hard to tell. They're just kind of hunkered down in the brush since it's so sunny out. They're not as scattered as they were um, yesterday in the cloudy weather. It's another good one though, another really nice crappie. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Our boy Kyle's hooked up. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Can he do it? Can he do it? Can he do it? Can he do it? He did it. Boom. Boom. Slab. Yee. Flipping them in with the ACC. Yee. Look at that. Pigs. Nothing but pigs. There's a fish on here. Here he comes. Might be a big one. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. It is. Yeah. Whew. Guys, I don't know if y'all saw that, but I was literally down in that brush. I was trying to make sure my jig was on the backside, but I landed right in the middle of it. And I'm not sure if the fish bit it uh, as it fell down into it, or if he bit it as I kind of shook it out. But either way, had I not hooked this fish, I probably would have lost my jig. That's a good one. Much bigger than the last one. They are loaded down deep in those piles. It's just so sunny and they're just packed full. Nice fish. This is the main pile we've been fishing right here. Oh, I got a fish. There you go. Holy crap. Good one. Good one. Freaking good one. Nice big old crappie. Big old crappie. Big old crappie. Big old crappie. Stud. Hammered it, hammered it. It's just steady, just steady action, guys. 
I mean, it's real steady. You know, it's not like we're dropping down and they're all just flocking to it and just smashing it every drop, but it is steady paced action. That's gonna be a wrap on today's fishing mission. We're back here at the ramp. I'm actually back in the man, Andy's boat. We had fished with Kyle all day. We caught some really nice fish out of those brush piles. Looks like they got a couple of good ones too. What you got in there, Andy? Got a couple of pigs? Yeah, we got a couple of decent ones. A couple of pigs, dude, those fish are dark. Yeah, a couple of uh, males. A couple of studs. Probably just got done spawning. Yeah. Still skinny, trying to get that weight back on. Yeah, we didn't catch anything that was that dark. All of ours are all bleached out. <laughs> some we, muddy crap. Um, we focused on just single, Roman fish, they weren't stacked on wood or anything. And yeah. trying to get good at that and learn that, it, it's definitely the toughest part of live scope is chasing down those single fish. But we had a good time with Craig, Kyle, yeah. you guys. It was awesome meeting you guys. Looking forward to watching this video. And check us out at acccrappiesticks.com and I'll follow these guys, he'll tell you to do that. <laughs> we just had a lot of fun. It, the weather was rainy one day and then it was beautiful for the next two. So. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see ya. Yeah, absolutely. Big thumbs up to that. Yeah, for, for sure. All right, guys, I'm feeling very optimistic. I just made it down here to the water's edge, and it looks great. It's up a little bit, but we have a really good current break right here behind me and uh, it's looking like it's gonna hold some fish. So let's get our double jig rig in the water and let's see what we can catch. Hold on a second, guys. I just heard something jumping over here in the rocks. What the heck? Oh, how did this happen? Look, guys, there are some drum here on the bank. I'm not sure they got stuck here if somebody was fishing threw them on the bank, but this one here I think is alive. Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> Not how I wanted to catch my first fish, but that fish was just stuck on the bank. Let's toss him back in the water. But there's a couple of more, I don't know what they're... This one's alive too. What the heck, did somebody throw these on the bank? I don't know, he don't look too good. That kind of sucks. You got a big one right here. Oh, this big guy. Oh, yeah. He's alive. These three fish are alive. I just don't know what the issue is. I didn't see anybody else down here. Somebody could have come down here and caught these fish and threw them on the bank, or they could have just got stuck in the rocks. But either way, I'm going to put them in the water and see what happens. They're not really looking that good, but... Oh, well, that's dumb. Well, it looks as if there are some drum here. So if we don't catch anything, we'll at least maybe catch a drum. There's a fish. Oh, it's a crappie. It's a crappie. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you. First fish of the day is a crappie. Heck yeah. That didn't take long. That was only like five minutes in. Bit that black and chartreuse grub. He's not a keeper, but that is awesome that the first fish we caught is a crappie and not a drum. I was kind of worried that we were going to catch much of drum after seeing those three on the bank. But hey, I will take that. How about it? First fish is a nice crappie. We'll send him back. Heck yeah. Hopefully there's more where that came from. I've got my bucket here on hand. If we uh, get into a mess of crappie, I ain't scared to throw some in there. Oh, oh, it's another crappie. What the heck? Smoked it right there at the bank. That is a dink though. Look how small this fish is. I don't think I've ever caught a crappie this small here. That's insane. He was right here in the rocks. Smoked it though. I mean, my line jumped. Fish on! What are you? It is a... Oh, fish jump right there. This is a baby white bass. So we've officially got our second species of the day, which is nice. Little white bass. I'd like to catch one a lot bigger than that, though.
There we go. Oh, crappie. Good crappie. Good crappie. Get in the boat. Let's go. Woo. That's a good one. Check it out, guys. We've got ourselves our first slab crappie of the day. This is our third crappie in total, and I think we've caught, I guess, six or seven fish now. Um, I definitely think I'm gonna put this guy in the bucket to start off with. I may not catch any more like this and I might release him, but this guy would definitely be really awesome to eat for dinner tonight. So let's get the bucket filled with some water and let's see if we can catch a couple more of these guys to take home with us. Oh God, oh God, what is this? We got a big fish. Is this our drum? Is this our drum? Or is it a white bass? I think it's a drum. Here we got our first drum of the day. Because we do. <laughs> Man, I only caught some smaller fish today, except for the last slab, and now we got ourselves a good looking drum. Here, let's grab him. Oh, all right. The last two fish have come on this grub right here. It's a black and blue grub of the chartreuse tail. And that is our first drum of the day. Surprising, I figured we would have caught more by now. But hey, that's all right. Nice fish, not super huge. We'd like to catch one of those, it's about five or six pounds, just to give me a good little fight, to have some fun. We'll take it. Oh, he smoked it. He's gone, where's he going? Where's he going, we got a big white bass? What we got? That's oh, a drum. <laughs> well, safe to say the drum had moved in. Took off like a white bass. Another one on that black and blue grub with the chartreuse tail. I've been flipping through a bunch of grubs already today and tubes and it seems like that might be the one I like the most. The water's a little bit dark, so I like to use dark colors when the water's muddy like this, but I also have been using some like bright whites, some bright chartreuse colors, and just wasn't having that much success with them. So maybe we got something figured out now. Oh, did y'all see that? <laughs> Woo, another crappie. Dude bit right at the bank right there. Nice. That's a good fish. Oh, it's a big white bass. <laughs> Finally got a good white bass. He hit it so hard. I got excited, I thought maybe it was gonna be a big crappie. Ooh. Well, there's my first decent white bass catch of the day. It took a while to catch one this size, which is normally not the case at this location. Um, but I guess that since we're later on in the year, there's just not that many of these guys to go around. And uh, I guess we're gonna throw him back. He's kind of skinny. Sometimes I would mix them in there with the crappie, throw them in the bucket, but I'm just gonna let this guy go. We'll keep the crappie instead. See you later, big guy. Get out of here. Fish. Coming up, kind of weird. I think it's another white bass, drum, crappie, white bass, white bass. Back to back, decent white bass. Ugh, can't complain, can't complain. Another one on that black and blue and chartreuse grub. Nice. About half the size of the last one I just caught, um, but definitely bigger than the first couple I caught. Can't complain. I would love to catch at least one more crappie. One or two more crappie would be really great. I also want to try some more spots. I want to try down there by the wall. It's not really a good crappie spot though. It's too fast of water, but it's a good spot to catch white bass and striper and drum. I also would like to try the other side. There's probably a good break over there. Um, I spent quite a bit of time here, so we'll see how much longer I fish in this spot before we make a move. I'm gonna spot a little bit longer though. I feel like I can catch one more keeper crappie here. Oh. What is this big old chumba wumba? Big old drum. Oh, this is big, big guy. I'm not using particularly heavy gear. Um, this makes it feel even bigger, but this has gotta be a good sized drum. It's definitely our biggest fish of the day, I think. Oh yeah, big old drum, holy smokes. Look at the size of that drum. Stay on there, guy. Stay on there. We just want to see your beautiful little blue eyes. There you go, he's giving up. <laughs> Smoked it. Most of them I catch drum near the bottom. Um, my bait was definitely like middle of the water column, so he either came up and got it or he was just chilling up there. Let's uh, let's get down here and grab you. He's fat. 
Look at that one, guys. That's a big one. Holy smokes. Now that right there, guys, is a really nice size drum. He's about five pounds or so. They definitely get a lot larger than this, but a good size one for here, and he put up a good fight on that light-powered rod. Whew. Let's get him back in the water. Maybe we'll catch one bigger than this, but I'm glad to at least caught one decent-sized drum today. All right, Big Daddy. Let's get you right side up, and there he goes. <laughs> awesome. What are you? There we go, there we go, there we go, yes. Yes, 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 we got her another crappie. Woohoo! Heck yeah, guys. Got ourselves our third keeper crappie. Got him in the bucket. Let me catch one more. Let's get one more. That feels decent. Oh, it's a good crappie. That's the one we need. That's the one we need. Get up here. Yes. Oh, don't fall in the lake. Yes. I didn't even feel him bite it. It just loaded up and we got a good one. Check it out, guys. Got our fourth solid keeper crappie of the day. Been fishing out here for about an hour and a half, maybe closer to two hours now. Just been grinding it out, trying to get, you know, a few of these to take home. Um, we still have a little bit more time to fish, but four is a great number. It'd be like two for me, two for Jay. It'd be perfect. So I'm gonna throw this guy where he belongs here in the bucket with his buddies. And we're gonna fish in this spot just a little bit longer. And then, like I said, we're going to um, go down there by the wall. And then we might venture over to the other side just to check it out and see if we're not missing out on anything super juicy. Um, but I'm happy with the way the day's gone so far. It's been a lot of fun. Oh God, oh God. We got another drum, I think. This was big. Oh, that's gotta be a drum, right? That feels rather large, to be honest, guys. I don't know, he's kind of fighting weird. It's gotta be a drum. It's gotta be. It's rather large, though. It's a rather large fish. I mean, I'm not moving him. I mean, he's kind of running weird. Is he snagged? Let's take it easy with this guy in case it's something different, but I think it's a drum. He is literally just sitting on the bottom right there. That is nuts. Come on up, big guy. Oh my goodness. How big is he? I don't want to put too much tension on him because he's, you know, these jig heads aren't the heaviest of duty jig heads. They got pretty good hooks on him. This dude is literally just sitting on the bottom. I don't, haven't had a drum fight like this in a while. What if it's a catfish? We're going to take it easy. I want to see him no matter what. If I lose him, I'll be like heartbroken. Oh, it's a catfish. Woo! I was right. I was right. It was something different. And is he, he's foul hooked. Okay, he's not a huge catfish. He's a decent channel cat, but he is indeed kind of foul hooked a little bit, I think. Woo! <laughs> Heck yeah, that guy right there is definitely gonna help the catch and cook cause. How about it? And this is exactly why I love fishing out here in the river. You never know what you're gonna catch. Any cast could yield something different. And this time we got ourselves a really nice channel cat. I knew that fish was fighting weird. It felt strange from the beginning. Um, this is an awesome fish and it's definitely gonna help out the catch and cook cause. Uh, this is gonna be great eating. I'm gonna throw them in the bucket with those crappie and we're gonna keep on fishing for a little bit longer. Heck yeah. Okay, as promised, we're down here by the wall. And first cast, literally, I didn't even turn my GoPro on. I'm hooked up with a fish. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a drum. It's a drum. He's fighting a lot harder than the other ones down there. I guess they have to since they're in this fast current. It's literally the first cast down this wall. We got a drum. He's darker color too. There you go, that's a decent one. I mean, literally, we are right next to this wall. And I need to get a hold of him a little bit differently. There we go. And my, uh, my bottom jig is about to hook me in the hand. We'll send him back. Let's see if get another one. I'm thinking like this spot right here, I have a good chance of maybe catching a bigger white bass or like a striper or something. Crappie aren't completely out of the question. Like this is a good little break right here in front of me, but overall this water is a little bit too fast for crappie. That was literally my first catch down here. Is that a fish? It's moving. It's moving. Is this a fish? 
Yeah, this is a fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. That felt so weird. It's got to be another drum. But I don't know for sure. I literally couldn't tell I had a fish because it was in the current. He was just swimming weird. Did I snag it? I did. Man, I'm a snag daddy today. That was so weird. My rod just loaded up and we've got ourselves another drum. We are two for two on drum in this spot. Dang, these things are fighting hard though in this current. Let's get another one. We'll see how long this lasts. If we're just catching drum, we're probably gonna have to have to bounce out of here. But I am curious to see if there's anything else lurking next to this wall. I mean, you can see how fast this current is ripping. Just everything that's out here is getting pushed right against the wall. And then there's a little bit of a break line right next to it. And that just positions the fish right up beside it. And there's also some rocks down there too. Oh, sh not kidding guys, look at that. Another fish. And this one might be snagged too because it is and that's a shad <laughs> telling you everything gets pushed up against the wall this is a great place for a big predator fish to get right up next to it and eat these shad or just whatever's getting pushed up against the wall that was weird all right let's try to catch one more fish i don't really care what it is we've been out here about about three hours now um it's actually getting pretty hot and there's a lot of heat coming off this wall <laughs> And it's just about time for me to get back home to Jay, Baby C, oh, see what they're up to. And uh, we gotta get these fish cleaned up too that we have in the bucket. We need one more fish though. One more. We gotta end it on a fish. We've had a good day. We need some last cast magic. There we go. There we go. There's our fish. I think it's a white bass. Be awesome to end on a nice big old fat white bass. Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, I guess with this fish, this is going to close out the fishing portion of today's episode. It was a lot of fun coming down here by this wall and catching a few last minute drum and white bass just to kind of round out today's catch. Um, but what we're gonna do now, we are going to load all of our gear back up into the car. We're gonna head back to the house, see what Jay and Cypress are up to, and then we're gonna clean the fish and get them ready for the table. It's gonna be a good time. All right, we just made it back to the house and we are ready to clean our catch. Let's give you a look at one of these slab crappie before we cut them up. Look at that. Beautiful, perfect eaten sized white crappie. Excited to eat these guys. And I'm also excited to share with y'all a bit of news I just received. And that is that the Waterland Optics has just released a couple of brand new shades to their existing lineup and they have them now available on the website. Um, the series is called the Sobro and the Slaunch series, they look really cool. They have the same awesome uh, mirrored lenses that you see in all the other available uh, models and they just look really, really awesome. And as you have seen from us on the channel, we wear them all the time. Like literally every day we walk out of the house if the sun's shining and these glasses are on our face. It's really important to protect your eyes from the sun. And as an angler, it's really great to have some great uh, polarized lenses that you can look into the water and see what you're casting at. So definitely check those out. I have them linked below. And if you decide to pick up a pair of Waterland Optics, use our code CJ10 at checkout to save 10% off. Now let's, uh, let's jump into this cleaning process. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be scaling these fish with El Spuno here and then just cutting the head off. You know, it's very basic fish cleaning and that's just what we're doing today because we don't have a whole bunch of fish here um, and we've been wanting to eat them that way for a while. So let's get the fish laid out here. We got one, two, three amigos and four amigos. And then we have our catfish. And we're actually gonna fillet him. We're not gonna clean him whole. So let's start with this guy. If you haven't seen this process done before, it's very, very easy. Like if you're new to fishing, new to cleaning fish, I would definitely recommend cleaning fish this way because you're not gonna, there's no way you can mess this up. You just take a spoon and you rake the scales off um, from the tail towards the head. So let me do that real quick. Bigger the spoon, the better. A big spoon gets the scales off faster. I've also seen some crazy methods where guys will like nail um, like the tail of the fish to a board and they'll get a, a pressure washer and pressure wash all the scales off. I need to try that. It seems like a lot of extra work. Um, I mean, you can see how quick and easy this is, but it looks really cool. So let us know in the comment section if you'd like to see us uh, clean some fish with a pressure washer. That'd be pretty epic. Maybe we have a whole bunch of fish and we need to blow through them really fast. All right, just about got that guy all scaled up. This guy is cold. I didn't put that much ice on him, but he is really freezing cold. All right. And then whenever you cut the head off, you want to start here at their at their ventral region, their butt, 
and you're gonna cut it at an angle. See how I'm angle the knife like that? Just up to and around the head. And when you do that, you pretty much cut all the guts out. So you don't have to rake your finger in there. And you don't have to worry about getting any of it on your fish meat. So there's the head. We'll probably throw that in the garden here in a little bit. Pull the excess guts out. Don't want to scar y'all too much. And there you have it. The fish is done. Um, we'll throw it in this bowl of water here for now. And then what we'll do after we got the rest of the fish cleaned up is we will take them over to the water hose and give them a good spraying. So yeah, so it's very easy, very basic, easy way to clean fish. If you haven't cleaned fish before, you're just not that good at it. Try this way. So we've got these last three crappie here and this catfish to clean. Once we get them done, we will get them ready for the dinner table. It's gonna be good. All right, fellas, well, it is actually the next day now, but it is finally time for us to cook up our amazing catch from yesterday. We have a bowl here with the whole crappie as well as the catfish fillets, and it's time to get them breaded up and thrown into the hot grease. Um, in case you're wondering why we're doing this today instead of yesterday, it's because today I got up super early, like at 3 a.m. to go fish in a bass tournament. Haven't fished in a tournament in quite some time, and it was a pretty big one. There was 120 boats in the field, and I'm not gonna spoil anything, but we did pretty well in it. And I filmed the whole adventure, so if you guys like tournament bass fishing videos or you've been wanting me or Jay to, you know, sign up for one, uh, this video will be for y'all. So I guess we'll post it, I guess, after this one. So stay on the lookout for that one. But anyways, um, let's jump into cooking these crappie and catfish. Now Jay is inside with baby C. He's in there sleeping, but I think they're going to come out here in just a moment, so we'll get to see what they're up to. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to fry the fish. We're going to first dunk the fish in this mix here of flour and seasoned fish mix. Then we are going to dunk said fish into this bowl. Let me see if I can show this to you without dumping it, <laughs> of whisked egg. And then we're gonna return it back to the flour and seasoned fish mix. And then we're gonna throw it in the deep fryer over yonder, over that way. So let's start by grabbing our fish. Let me tilt this down. It's kind of hard to do by myself. I need Jay out here to help me out. Tilt this down a little bit. Here we go, we got our seasoned fish mix here. We're gonna grab one of these delicious little whole crappie nuggets. There he is. Hims was swimming yesterday, and now he's about to be swimming in some hot grease. Let's shake him up. I'm just gonna show you how we're doing this just for demonstration purposes, and then I'll do the, all the rest of them off camera, I think. Anyway, so we got him shook up. Then, what we'll do is we want these guys to be super crispy. If you could just throw this guy in the deep fryer like this, but he won't be as crispy and crunchy if you don't lather him up in some either like some buttermilk or some eggs or maybe dunk him in some water again. I don't really know. I like to use egg. So we're going to dunk him here in this bowl of egg. He was white and now he's yellow. Look at that. Got ourselves a yellow crappie, a rare species. Got him back in the bag. And in this bag, so I have like some fish fry, some flour, and then some extra spicy uh, Slappy Mama. Not the original Slappy Mama, I got the extra spicy one. So it's gonna give this fish a lot of bold, good, Cajun-y, delicious flavor. All right, so that guy is ready. I'm going to get the others um, battered up and then we'll take them over, over there to the uh, deep fryer and give them a little grease bath. All right, we made our way over here to the fish frying station. Let's reach into the bag here. Let's grab ourselves one of our whole crappie. Look at how deeply breaded that guy is. This is super thick and crunchy. All right, even got the fins good. This should be plenty hot. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay, let's grab another one. We got four of these. I don't think I can fit all four in there. I'm gonna do like two at a time, just to be safe. Of course, I did grab the two biggest ones right there. <laughs> nice. All right, we'll let those guys cook. Those should be ready in about three or four minutes. And then we will take them there put them here. So it appears that my first batch of guys in here are ready. Let's take a look at them. Oh man, look at that. That turned out perfect. Got to love that. Sometimes that crunchy um, outer shell on the fish can fall apart in here. So that stayed on good. Look at that one there. Woohoo! That little egg yolking batter helped us out right there. Okay, so we got two really good looking whole fried crappie right there. Let's get our next two done and let's get those catfish flies in there too. Oh, look who came to join <laughs> us. Say hello. Hello. Was Say you hello. sleeping in there? I was sleeping. Now you awake. You hungry? 
Oh yeah, this fish smells good. Doesn't it? it smells so good. Trevor said, I want some fish, but I ain't got no teeth. Mm, one day, buddy. <laughs> one, one day. day. <laughs> <laughs> June's over there lurking oh, in the background too. I think she's sniffing it. June bug, you smell that fishies? <laughs> <laughs> got it. Oh, look at him. Oh, he said, I ain't got no teeth. I want fish now. <laughs> Take a look at this guys. We have finally completed cooking up all of this fish. It looks amazing. It smells amazing. And I can't wait to see how it tastes. I am literally starving. I spent all day on the lake today and didn't eat much and also didn't drink much. Like here's my Dr. Pepper. I literally, literally drank that much. And I feel like I'm having a hard time um, coming with words. I'm also really tired and just, I'm exhausted and I'm just excited to sit here and eat this fish. I'm not, now I'm not sure if y'all heard or not, but little man Cypress was getting a little bit fussy out here, so Jay had to take him back inside. So I'm about to go join them in there, um, help her take care of him. Um, before I do, you know what we gotta do? We gotta do the taste test. This is not an official catch and cook video without a taste test. And it's been a while since we had some whole fish, and maybe you haven't had whole fish before, so I'm gonna show you guys how you would go about eating a fish like this. This one's actually really hot, so I'm gonna grab these uh, bigger, colder guys. So here is our fish. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna first remove the fins. Okay, because you know there's bones in here, you wanna eat around the bones. So first you're gonna pull the fins off. And if you want to, you can actually nibble on these guys. We'll give a little snack. It's like eating a little crunchy, uh, fishy pota potato chip. It's not fishy though, it's great. It just tastes like the batter. We'll remove that fin. And so then what you have here, is you see there's like a little split and that's where the uh, the backbone is. And all you'll really do is you'll just peel that meat off the backbone. And you'll see it, you can be a little bit more uh, fancy, a little more proper just by peeling off the fork. But we're just gonna go in with our hands, grab a piece of meat off. Oh, I dropped some, no. And we're just gonna go in and eat it. Here we go. That is bomb, that is so good. So good, like bone-in fish. You get a little bit of extra flavor. I'm gonna grab another bite real quick. Just for y'all, I wish y'all were here, but I know that y'all are some talented anglers out there. Y'all can go out there, catch yourself some crappie, and do your own catch and cook just like this. This one's for y'all. Here we go. Mmm. Delicioso. That is so freaking great. But guys, I think this is where we're going to end today's episode. I just want to say a huge thank you to each and every one of y'all that took time out of your busy day to watch this video, to come down and hang out with me on the river, do some fishing do some cleaning, and of course, do some cooking. That spot is an awesome place to fish, and I always enjoy going down there because I literally never know what I'm gonna be hooking up with. Um, any given cast, I can hook up with the biggest river monster of my life, and then, of course, you can also hook up with these delicious crappie like we did today. Um, so folks, that's it for me. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button, and of course, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. I'm Cole Harkin, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>